Hello, this is the first um, prototype for um, my game Meta Automata. Um, it's written in Java using the lightweight Java game library and so it will run on um, Apple, Linux and Windows. Um, it's currently paused and I, this is the first exposure so uh, push P to unpause if I highlight it okay so this is the environment at the moment uh, I'm just picking things up quite addictive you've got the mini map on the top right hand corner uh, and there are some numbers there on uh, underneath uh, and uh, if I can I'll explain those in a minute um, it's none of its mouse operated it's all keyboard at the moment so the arrow keys move you forward up and down arrow keys move you forward and backwards left and right rotate you uh, S and D strafe you left and right G to fly um, spacebar to fire well, I haven't got any ammunition at the moment uh, and I'll show you if I push the I key for inventory you get this inventory at the back uh, the flashing of the inventory there was supposed to be deliberate everything is supposed to just give a give the player a bit of feedback so if I, um, um, I push the I again it goes away but I push I it's, you, know, you know it's a bit like a, a video flashing into um, into action and you'll see this in various places all the information flashes just to give the player a bit of feedback it's not suddenly there sort of effect okay these flying things here this this here is called a parasite and there's a whole story behind it and I put that on the web page but I won't go into that right now and um, parasite sort of gives away what they do and why are they heading over here well probably over here there you'll find yeah there's another building see there are things that they they are trying to own if you don't own them the parasites will own them they will get grab them as you watch as I see they, what they do is this block is a machine these parasites approach machines that aren't owned and you'll know they're owned when they have a flag above them across the top here there we are and now it's got this sort of no access um, flag across it so if I walk up to it walk onto this um, green floor area here this tile here and push the E key you'll see it says access denied in the top left corner you see so if I push E again access denied so I can't actually get to it unless I hack it personally this won't stop the uh, parasites from visiting it they will still visit uh, occasionally just to check um, and when nothing's there they'll just go go and do some business somewhere else okay so how do we hack this well we walk up to it just walk onto this green tile here uh, wait for them to go away thank you um, and push the H key as in hack so I push the H key you can see we've got this hacking bar going across the bot across there and we've hacked it and the you can see the access denied flag has gone from the top uh, if I push the E key walk on the tile push the E key uh, we have a list of things that this particular machine can do these numbers represent the controllers inside the machine I'm going to select to create energy or elect to create energy by pushing the 5 key energy machine set thank you right oh <laughs> and instantly the parasite I didn't realize the parasite was there the parasites will um, descend on anything you own and destroy it which is a bit of a bugger um, so how do you protect your machines once you you you've turned them on well you lay fences and that's in my inventory there you can see those little that little yellow bar that says 20 beside it I have 20 of those um, <coughs> excuse me these bright blue balls are loot that the parasites have dropped so I can pick them up and now if I push the inventory key these are things that are in those loot bags there we are um, uh, where was I? I was going to show you uh, I digress don't I? right so I, this, this head for a machine and surround it with fences for, for, for a good reason because we want to own a machine so first of all really you don't want to put a fence around anything until you have en energy and our energy bar that orange block across the top there will be some kind of battery effect but at the moment orange 
is better than red but not as good as green we haven't got much energy we need energy so we're looking for a machine that will give us energy um, so let's hack this if I remember rightly hacking doesn't cost you any energy so it's cheap um, there we are this one will do energy for us so if I push the F key as in fence that we get this cursor and it's got a little yellow thing on the front if I go we can't lay a it's okay if they, if they come and hack it they're not going to destroy it because we don't own it yet all we've done is revealed it we've unhacked it as it were so they can keep doing that as often as they like without hurting us effectively so what I as I move this this I call this the placement cursor you hit escape key it'll go away you hit the F key you'll get one for the fence you'll get one for anything that you can lay um, <laughs> bloody parasites right so I can't lay it there that's what that red that's why it's turned red we can't lay it there but we can lay it there so there's one now if I move it over here it's grey if I move it here it's yellow that means it will link or connect to another fence post nearby so if I push that you can see it's connected so I'm going to surround this block with fences we have many parasites and I'll tell you just how many parasites we have. If you look on the um, uh, right of my screen, oh, I'm not doing this very well. Come on, no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. There. Yeah. So I've now surrounded this thing with fences. We need to activate it quickly because we're going to run out of energy otherwise, and that's not good. So I'm, I've got to hack it first. I know it gives me energy because we always saw it. We've seen it does give energy, and I push five, and now it's relatively well protected um, the electric fences kill parasites if they walk into it you'll watch it see dead um, no sounds at the moment my fences have taken damage but if you look on my inventory the fourth item along if I push um, the tab key it will select inventory items so that we can get description so I'm just going to move along using the, the right the square brackets as, as symboled on the inventory there and if I move it along to the you can see it says up there on the far left repair robot friendly robot that repairs damaged machines electric fences posts and turrets it also reloads turrets that rem uh, that that are running out of ammunition and there is our repair robot it's that square block with a green flag anything with a green flag will be our friend there but all these things that seem to be moving that are animate have a limited life. The parasites have a limited life. Your repair ro robot has a limited life. Um, but it's about 10 minutes, to be honest with you. So uh, that's going to wander around fixing things for us and reloading turrets. So where is this turret? Well. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just going to get rid of that by pushing the T key. Turret is that thing on my inventory there. Oh, why don't you show them? So there we are. I've just highlighted it on my inventory and it says at the top there turret. Automatic weapon that fires ammunition at parasites when parasites cross the turret's radar sweep. Um, I don't have to select anything in the inventory in order to lay it. It's, it's just inventory is just there for show at the moment just to show you what you've got. Uh, and you can you can punch things that are in your inventory into machines to enhance machines but there you go we've run out of energy we are running out of energy what we need to do this is not good so there's no point in laying a turret right now if you pick up these blue loot bags they sometimes carry batteries and my energy is increased because of it uh, so picking up loot is useful when you only have the one energy Th this one energy machine is having trouble keeping my fences alive and my fences are eating off. I've just picked up a lunch loop. What's in this one here? If I can get two energy machines going that should cover it for a minute. Um, so I go in here and we don't have any energy. There's no point in, in activating anything else in my opinion right now because we don't have enough energy to run the fences let alone anything else. Uh, and the repair robot takes energy as well. So it's all, all cost. Uh, that's fine, come on, I'm looking for an energy machine, I'm looking for an energy energy machine, I'm going to hack this bugger, this one here, uh, no, right, we're going to cheat, this, par this, this prototype um, allows us to, we don't have any money limitations, so if, this is a shop, 
that thing on the top of that flag there, this it's a permanent block, that thing at the top of that flag is a tulip. And the currency within this game is called Tulip Coin, and it's a play on Bitcoin. Tulip Coin, uh, if you know anything about um, bubbles and econ economics and everything, it's supposed to be quite funny. Tulip, you know. There we go. Anyway, so I come here, I push E key, and I can buy things. What I'm going to buy is, let me see, number four on that list. E. Number four on that list, one energy manufacturing controller. It would have cost us 250 uh, tulip coins, so I'm just going to push four. And there's a picture of it there. If I, um, it says to confirm your purchase, and that's a, uh, a name that push enter. We've got it. So if I look into my I look in my inventory now, I use the square brackets to navigate my inventory, and there it is. You can see it's at the end there. If I push tab to highlight the inventory items and then use the square brackets again move along energy manufacturing controller unit that um, configures a machine to mine material and convert it into energy I can add that controller to a machine that doesn't have that capability thus enhancing its capability I'm going to get rid of the inventory we don't need it never need it open to do anything really to do much that's an absolute lie so if I, if I hack uh, no I want to hack a machine that's close to this machine so here's one and I think I'll explain how this machine has suddenly appeared in a second uh, right so I've hacked it and it hasn't got energy good that's good so if I now open my inventory navigate to the page with the controller on hit tab and navigate to the controller Okay. Oh god. Oh god. The parasites have eaten my machine. Thank you very much for that. So you can pick up fences by. I haven't done the thing I was intended to do. I got di diverted. Right. I'm going to come to this machine now and add the controller. So we hack it because it's been hacked. You can't add a controller while it's been hacked, so we have to hack it, and then we push tab, select the uh, tab, select the controller. Oh, it's, we're not getting anywhere because we, we've been hacked. Fudging monkey. So let's come over here, away from the parasites. Get as far away from the parasites as you can. If you move forward and hold the, the control key down, so forward, hold the control key down. If you've got energy, it will boost your run. Um, hack this one. Parasites are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're a pain in the ass. Uh, right, so we... Oh, I've pushed the P key. Oh, I'm navigating. There we are. So I've just navigated my inventory. Push the tab. Navigate to the control. Now we've got this different instructions because the machine is is unoccupied. You can see on my minimap a um, a bugger is approaching. Uh, what I'm going to it says left control key uh, to add this component to this machine. So I hold the left control key down and enter. They've hacked it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate parasites. I hate parasites. Right, let's find a machine that's away from the parasites. Uh, I talk too much. Right, hack. Unhack this machine. Controller is already har already. Oh, sorry, a little bit of a bug. Uh, has it already got the controller? It's already got an energy. I wanted to show you, but put it on an energy that doesn't have energy. Right. Access denied. Hack. Here we go. Yes. Right. Go away. <laughs> Let's pretend we're we're not doing anything. La la la. Don't draw attention to yourself. Don't draw attention to yourself. La la la. Right. Quick. Get in there and uh, we tab. Hold the left and control key down to add this component to whatever. Control Enter. It's been added. It really needs a bit. Yeah. No, it hasn't. It's been hacked.
Yes, we did get it in there. We got it in there before they hacked it. Good. But right, okay, doc. They, because we don't own it yet, we haven't we haven't switched that controller on. And the parasites won't destroy the machine. What they'll do is just flop around and and irritate the heck out of us. Should we kill some parasites? How do we kill parasites? Well, we need ammunition. Where are we going to get ammunition from? Uh, we need to turn an ammunition machine on. How do we turn an ammunition machine on? We need energy. How do we get energy? We've got to turn bloody energy machine on. <sighs> so we're going to put some fences down. Uh, damaged. The fence we've picked up is damaged. That's why it's red. And we come here, we come here, and we come here. Right, we... Uh, is it hacked? Yeah. So we hack it. Come on. And then we push the 5 key quickly. Because our red, little red stripe up there, once that gets to zero, we can't switch anything on. You need energy to switch things on. I'm just going to rearrange these a little bit. Oh, thank you. There we are. Just getting them closer, really, because the parasites can fly over that if there's a gap. Oh, oh. We don't have a repair robot. That's part of our problem, isn't it? So if you can get your fences just right, you can sometimes get these. Burn them. See, burned him with the fence. Can we repair this machine? Because it's red, it means it's in trouble. Yes, we can. Um, so if you walk up to the machine, I'm going to get rid of that curse. You don't need it. Push the escape key. I'm going to walk up to the machine and push R. Up top there it says, repair the machine. Thank you. Uh, we need a repair robot. Shall we go and get one? I'm going to put, put the fence down again. Because uh, they're destroying it and no one's repairing our fences. This is just trouble. Um, now how do you get a repair robot? Well, it's, you would need, normally need money, but we haven't got any at the moment. It's not been implemented. So, you see that pink dot at the top of the, the uh, mini-map there? That's the shop. Pink dot is shop, and there's a possibility you won't be able to see the shop, so I've put the, the mini-map always appear. The shop dot always appears at the direction you need to go. So we come to here. We What we do is we go E, and what we want I can tell you now, right, how do I know what I want? So if I come to B, you push the B key, right, we can build a, um, a deactivated machine. Well, we can't because we don't have 150 bolts. If I push the square brackets again, this will scroll us through the blueprints. Oh, shit. Right, so what we don't have, so there we've got a repair robot. We can build that repair robot. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the thing on the far right of the list. Uh, which is which are robot jets? I don't. Uh, okay, tap key not working. So I haven't implemented that on this one yet. Um, but I can tell you because it's red, we haven't got any. Where do we get robot jets? We buy them. They're, they can only be purchased. They can't be looted. So we push the E key, and we want robot jets. It would have cost us 1500 TC, but since money hasn't been implemented, we get it for free. So we push that. Yes, that's what we want. Marvelous. If I push the B key again, we've now got all the in, all of them. Um, you push the enter once you've selected the thing you want to build with the B key and the square brackets navigated which one blueprint you want to build just push the enter key and repair robot successfully built oh no sorry got carried away in the F key here look. and we got no energy we are energy free at the moment <sighs> Uh, so those numbers on the on the top there, we've got zero of one, zero of one, zero of one, zero of one, and they really don't help you to help the player to know what on earth they mean. But uh, in order to be able to switch something on, so come here. Uh, so we can do all sorts of things. We've got th four options we can do here. We can make it make oil. It can make turrets. Uh, it can make energy, which is what we want, uh, or it can make more fences. Um, when you start the game, if I push the I key, you have already got, um, what have you got? You've already been given some turrets, that's that thing that's 10 there. Uh, you've, 
you've got you've been given some fences you've been given some turrets and you'll be given a re repair robot when you start in this particular prototype um, but in order to if you wanted to make a get a machine that made them if you wanted to create your own machine that made these things you need a permit I call it a permit it might be an I might call it a key but at the moment I'm calling it a permit so by default we're given one permit of each machine so if I come onto this one we're gonna hack it it's gonna get destroyed quite quickly because we haven't got the energy to lay fences we can lay the fences but they won't do anything um, so if I push five suddenly no we haven't got the energy to switch it on how do you get energy well you you recharge there we go so you've got this sliver it recharged and then it's gone and why is it gone is because those other fences are still lying around somewhere so you need to find them and pick them up unless they get destroyed and I have no idea where I put them oh there uh, these two things there yeah. ah my little repair robot right so we uh, pick them up and he's sitting there quite patiently thank you um, now so other energy can be gathered by walking over these blue things, these loot. Now have I already explained that the parasites die eventually. They die after about two minutes. Keeps the objects in the game down, doesn't it? And um, you can end up with bloody thousands of the things if you're not careful. So we pick up these blue, and you can see my, my red slither up there has increased because I'm picking up power from these blue objects. Uh, so the we only have one permit to start a machine but what you can do is once you've started a machine if you can find another machine with the same controller so if I'd started this one and it was energy let's hack it see what's in there if I started this machine and it was energy I've got it wrapped in fences I've still only got the uh, look at that energy he's hacking it they're hacking it uh, if I manage to get this thing going, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I made this game and I'm absolutely used to say it. So here we go. Uh, we've wrapped it in fences, we're now going to turn it on. Access denied, hack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get away. Access denied, I haven't finished hacking. There we are, access five, so switch it on. Uh, we just don't have enough energy. So you have to get yourself some energy. And there's a lesson to be learned. How do you win this game? Well, there are, you can complete all the missions. There we are. Now, so, so once you've got your boost of energy, You can complete all the missions. Where are the missions? Right. Let's go. The missions are on that blue dot there. There. That blue dot's the mission terminal. So we go over to the mission terminal and find it. So can you see on the minimap the mission terminal? The blue dot is what I'm talking about on the minimap. And uh, we come here, and you've got to complete all the missions. If you complete all the missions you win that level and the idea of the game is to win each level and how do you there's three ways of winning you can own all the machines ie none of the machines belong to the parasites they all belong to you i.e. You, you've activated them somehow or you can complete all the missions in the mission terminal for that level or you can kill all the parasites F how do you kill all the, how do you kill the parasites well you you pick up the ammunition which I can't seem to find at the moment because I can't switch on any of the machines because I haven't got enough energy uh, perhaps I should start again <laughs> um, if you get oh, because I'm useless absolutely useless yes I'm, I was born useless I'm still useless you pick up these machines and you fences because they're eating up energy that I'm not getting you recharge slowly um, let's, let's recharge a bit and you, you kill all the enemies 
that's it, right? I've given you the three ways you can complete them. Ah, look, you see, the, there they are, stones. They will spontaneously appear if you, in sympathy, if you haven't been able to uh, create a switch on an, uh, an ammunition machine. So I'm gonna, you walk up to the guy and you, go, you just push your space bar and you can fire, right? And that's it, killed. Um, so it'll be in my inventory, where are they? Or have I used them all? Push, don't push the P key. There we are, seven, I've got seven. It takes three to kill a uh, parasite currently. So I walk up to him, push the space bar, and he's dead. If you could do that, the other numbers that are around here. So on that, that panel below the minimap, you've got the permits that are described, zero of one, zero of one, zero of one. That means I've, I'm using that many of that many permits. The number below that says 82. That's the number of machines that are currently on the map. Can't see them all at the moment. They're in the fog in the distance. Uh, or elsewhere on the map somewhere. Um, and 57. Right, so 30, 36 is a countdown to the next wave of parasites. The next wave of parasites, because they keep regenerating. And the number of parasites that regenerate is determined by the number of machines that exist. So the more machines that exist, the more parasites will be spawned. Um, so you've got the countdown to the next wave of parasites and the number on the bottom there, 47, is the number of parasites that currently exist. The number will fluctuate because they will die of old age or you will destroy them. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, so by killing them all, you win. Right, okay. Is there any need for me to go on anymore? Are you bored? Probably. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, so that again, this is the first prototype, it's, it's about the gameplay, obviously needs a, a lot of tweaking and a lot of aesthetics need to be put into the, in there. Um, see you later, bye.